Here's Brody Brazil. Hey, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this A's 2023 player profile series. We're here to talk about the dude, James Caprillion. I've always pulled for Cap, and I don't know if it's just the way he entered the A's and the organization and Major League Baseball. He has overcome so much with injuries and in his personal life. I've got to to know him just a little bit through interviews and such, and to me, he's just an easy player to pull for and and root for. And yeah, I'm a professional broadcaster, but come on, I've got my favorites, and I'm I'm trying to translate to you here that James Caprillion is one of those. So I'm rooting for Cap. He'll be 29 years old on opening day. He'll come in with two years and four days of Major League service time. And his big league career looks like this. The shortened 2020 season, he was on that alternate site squad where the A's were playing, was it in San Jose uh, during the pandemic? And uh, did get the opportunity to pitch once or twice that year in those 60 games. But 2021, he got the call up early, went 8-5, and five, a 407 ERA, 21 games started, Unfortunately, kind of tailed off at the end, but it was more of a matter like, hey, look what we've got here. It was a very encouraging 2021, as opposed to 2022, which just started and continued with adversity. And most of that adversity was was health. Some of it was just bad fortune and bad luck and not a lot of run support. We'll get into that in just a second. But a really uphill adversity filled season for James Caprillion last year. And that's why I'm pulling for him to rebound here in 2023. He's coming off surgery, which we'll also talk about momentarily. Four pitches for him, at least in terms of last year that he used, and this is in order of of usage. Fastball the most at 95. You love to see the heater at that velo. The slider at 85, the changeup at 86, and the curveball down at 77 miles per hour. So let's revisit this struggle of 22 for James Caprillion. He had the shoulder injury, which he fought through, delayed his start to the season. I think uh, he, he... started spring training, then shut it down for a bit, and then started his rehab assignment in the A's minor league system. Maybe one start, <clears throat> excuse me, in Stockton and then a couple more in Las Vegas. Those starts did not go well, but look, we never really read into that. He made his A's debut on May 1st, which everybody was excited about. But then he made his first 11 starts and went 0 and 5 with a 5.88 ERA. Now the 5.88 tells a story, not pitching his best, but I covered a lot of those games. He should have easily had the first win way earlier than start number 12. We talked about this, the frustration of going out there and you're, you're, you want your team to win. Yes, you'd love the result, but obviously the A's didn't help him out. He didn't consistently always pitch um, his best every time out. So starting off last year, 11 starts winless. How frustrating is that? 0-5 with that 5-8-8 ERA. Overall, turned out to be a 5-9 and nine season. So, uh, yeah, went 5-4 and four after those first 11 starts. Like, things totally turned around. They worked themselves out. A 4-2-3 ERA, much more in line of what you'd, what you'd like to see, especially recovering from a 5-8-8. 7-3-5 OPS in 26 total games start uh, started. So, really, the first 11 and the final 15 is kind of how you can draw that line there. And he actually, if you want to really narrow in on the final couple starts, and this is encouraging because I I mentioned before that in 2021, his first full big league season, and when you have that as a starter, like he's never started games deep into the end of August and September and October. And when you're a, a college baseball player, when you're a minor league baseball player, your season just does not get into those late summer, early fall months. And your body's just not used to it. It's not a knock on cap. That was just something that, you know, we we wished for him that he could have finished all the way. But in 22, his final four starts from September 15 on, 2-0, and 1-8-0 ERA, right? Like highly encouraging that he actually finished as well as he ever pitched. So that's a really good sign. There's also some some splits to discuss here. And I've been mentioning a lot of these for certain players in our series this is not to be critical. It's just to be very um, curious. Like a 2.77 ERA in the first two innings, and then after the second innings, a 5.16 ERA. So what do we? Is it the second time through the lineup? Is it the pitches aren't there? Is it kind of losing a handle on something? And for some pitchers, it's the exact opposite. It's a pitcher who has a. a I think we did the Paul Blackburn video already. A, a really rough first inning. And then innings two, three, four are spotless. 
it's kind of crazy, right? How everybody's got kind of a different story and a different trajectory. But for Cap, it's the first two innings are nails. And then after that, if you're just talking ERA alone, it's kind of where he runs into a little bit of a challenge. Also want to mention, if we're into the splits conversation here, a 4-3 and three record and a 3-3-0 ERA against the AL West. I mean, what's the reasoning for that that better performance? I can't. I don't know. I know he's from SoCal. Maybe he loves pitching against the Halos specifically. But look, it is important, and especially in a division where you've got monstrous teams now between the Astros and the Mariners when we're back in the playoffs, and the Rangers are spending money like it's going out of style. And the Angels are always going to have, for now, Trout and Otani to go up against. So to pitch really well against divisional teams uh, can't explain the ERA thing. Can't explain the ALS thing, but I'm glad to see that stat. Overall, in Caps 26 starts, the A's went 13 and 13, and also 8 and 4 in the no decisions that he had, right? Games where he didn't pick up the win or the loss. So there is something telling there, right? If you're 8 and 4 in the no decisions, let's not forget here, you helped your team win the game. 8 and 4. Highly contrast the overall winning percentage of the A's last year. Last year they went sixty and one hundred and two. So to have an eight and four record in the no decisions games where he didn't get a result tells you that he helped the team to win the game. But thirteen and thirteen overall in his starts, yeah, five hundred, way better, like twenty games better than the ratio of their actual end result and end record of sixty and one hundred and two. Here's the last thing I want to point out here on on James Caprillion of of twenty twenty two. Um, seven innings pitched or fewer. Now, this is not just for last year, but a big part of it was last year. Seven innings pitched or fewer in all of his 47 Major League Baseball starts. So to get Cap into an eighth inning or a ninth inning or a complete game situation, I mean, obviously, I'm I'm hoping for overall success for him in 23. Be healthy, do well, help the team win, you know, be something to look forward to in the rotation. But if there's like a weird, interesting uh, achievement or something he could unlock in 2023, I hope it's that Cap can finish a game. He can go through the entire thing or, or get into eighth innings more often. I'd love to see him kind of burst that bubble on stretching it out in games. We talked about stretching it out over the course of a season, uh, getting to September and, and still doing your best in October. Um, yeah, the playoffs would be a tough stretch for Oakland, all things considered, and the way they enter this season, but I'm saying you finishing the regular season strong. That would be great. It would also be nice to see him get really deep into games. So let's talk about 2023. He is coming off AC joint surgery. Now, this is one of the things that had been holding him back injury wise last year. So let's hope that this surgery comes with no complications as he completes spring training, gets into the season. Let's hope that all this did was help him eliminate that problem from the throwing arm, the AC joint. Um, uh, the surgery was completed. Everybody says he'll be on time, even if he's a little bit delayed. Let's get let's get this out, uh, out of the way. Let's also get this right for James Caprillion. In terms of hopes of 2023, yes, yeah, stretch it out. Not only in games, get into eighth innings and ninth innings, uh, but stretch it out in the course of the season too. Make 30-plus starts. Last year and the year prior, Cole Irvin was that guy to get you to the 30-game 30, 30 start mark. Uh, game started, Mark. Let's hope Caprillion can join him in that conversation. And then last but not least, we haven't really discussed Cap's role in the rotation, but he's very capable of being a a top-of-the-rotation guy. Um, And I don't know who's going to start opening day. Uh, Maybe there's not a clear-cut, gotta-be-this-person start. Yeah, Paul Blackburn was the all-star last season. It didn't end well for him. Maybe Cole Irvin's been the most consistent. Look, I'm... We're not doing that video here now. This is all about cap. I'm just here to tell you, I'd love to see him like be one, two, three in the rotation wherever, but earn that status and keep that status. And hopefully it's something that A's fans look forward to. Like, okay, it's a Caprillion day. We know we've got a pretty good shot to win that baseball game. If nothing else, just based on the way we think he'll pitch. So cap, buddy, I'm pulling for you. Has the beard always been that thick? Like, I don't I feel like it's been trimmed. I mean, he's like me, kind of comes and goes, <laughs> different, different densities. Uh, but I do look forward to seeing Cap in spring training and hopefully out there healthy for the start of the season. I hope you enjoyed this A's 2023 player profile. If you did, uh, consider giving this video a thumbs up. That greatly helps me out. And subscribe to this channel. This series has a lot more videos coming your way, not only about the A's, but also 
in this player profile series. I'll see you next time.